Iktomi is a trickster in Lakota stories. This character exists in many, many different Indian cultures, which leads me to wonder, why is that? And what does that mean? There are Iktomi songs as well. Uh, they exist in many, many tribes, and they all have the same melody. And these tribes have totally different languages, totally different belief systems, different society structures, family systems, totally different. But this is the one thing they all have in common, this Iktomi character. Of course, in different tribes, they're different names. He has a different name because they have different languages, but the character is the same. That makes me wonder, what is that? The character represents duality. Duality is when you see everything in only two groups, and you say, I like this one, so that's good. And then everything else that's different, you say that's bad. And everything is focused on that. So you see everything in life as only having two components. That's why it's called duo, duo duality. Duality comes from the word duo, and duo is Latin for two. And when you only have two, you have the tendency to assign one a good label and the other one a bad label, and that's where you get into trouble. That's when you start thinking that positive is good and negative is bad. And that's not true. This universe is founded upon four elements. And they're not about which one is the best one. It's not like that. These four elements, they just work differently. They don't fight against each other or anything. They just work differently. And this is how the universe is created. So you see, it's not just two. It's more than two. Lakota Star Knowledge says it's going to always be at least three. At least. Most of the times it's four. But at least three. And many times it's more than four. But it's never, 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 ever just two. So duality is when you lose something. Lakota Star Nala says there's at least three components to reality. In duality, there's only two. Well, that means you're missing something. That means when you're dualistic, when you're a racist, when you say your way is the only way, when you say your religion is the only religion when you say your race is the best race, the chosen race. When you talk like that, you're dualistic. And since you only see two components to reality, that means you do not see the complete reality. And this is the problem of today, duality. That's the main problem. And in duality, we don't take the time to check things out. We just judge it right away. We look at something or somebody and we say, oh, I don't like that. So that's evil. It must be destroyed. <laughs> uh, my favorite line from that movie called Steel Magnolias. <laughs> you are evil. It must be destroyed. Anyway, this is the problem that we have today. Duality creates everything that's problematic for everything, actually. It's not just for humans. It's also the problem for plants and animals and that which moves and grows. Because all creation is connected. What you're supposed to learn from these Iktomi stories is the thinking process underneath it. Not the fact that he tricks himself or ends up in trouble or doing something funny or whatever. That's entertaining, yes. And that does serve a purpose. It makes you laugh. It makes you go, gee, that's rugged. 
But if you go deeper, if you learn the process underneath the stories, that's really deep. And that shows your spiritual level of development when you can figure that out. And even if you don't get there, you still learn from those stories. They still teach you things. He teaches his thinking process is dualistic. And so, as a result, there's always something missing in the Iktomi way. For example, the Lakota medicine wheel has four parts. The Iktomi medicine wheel has three. The Lakota medicine wheel has the colors black, white, yellow, and red in that order in the Lakota star knowledge stories. Now, some other people might switch the white and the red around. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm telling you is the Lakota star knowledge version. Now, sometimes people may receive an instruction in which they're also given their order of medicine wheel colors. That only is for them. And that might be a different order. It might even be different colors. But one color unites all medicine wheels, and that's black. And that's always, always, always at the west. It's not in the south, it's not in the north, it's not in the east. It's always in the west. That's the first direction. This is birth. This is the reason why. So black is always going to be west. It's always going to be the first direction. But the others may switch orders. It always depends on the person's vision or instruction. Or there may be members of a certain dream society that the other three colors will be different, but black will always be there. This is the unifying element to all medicine wheels. This is where they connect. So when I say black is west, white is north, and yellow is east, and red is south, this is Lakota star knowledge instruction. And when you live a healthy life, your soul is always facing the south direction that's why they say you're on the red road. So according to that, the red road is going south. So that means that south is represented by the color red. See, this is all coming from Lakota star knowledge. Again, red does not represent Indians. It represents a healthy way to live. It doesn't mean you have to do ceremonies. People really make that mistake. They think it's the Indian way. So they say that to be on a red road, you're supposed to do ceremonies have a pipe and have Indian name. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. That might be an Indian way, but that's not the red road. The red road is a healthy way to live. It belongs to no religion. It belongs to no ceremonies. And it has no sacred items because living a healthy life is a ceremony and you are the sacred item. That's all you need. That's the way of the ancestors. So, that's a Lakota medicine wheel. Now, the Iktomi medicine wheel only has three parts. It only has three colors, black, white, red. The Lakota pipe, the bowl is made out of pipestone. This has the blood of the Dakota ancestors in it. This is why you're supposed to speak either Lakota, Dakota, or Nakota in front of that pipe. Nothing else. You're not supposed to speak Ojibwe, you're not supposed to speak German, you're not supposed to speak English or Japanese or Navajo or Spanish. You're supposed to speak either Lakota, Dakota, or Nakota in front of the pipe because the blood of the Dakota ancestors is in that pipe stone and their tomb is in there. That's a spiritual essence that comes from them. That's why you have to show that kind of honor to that stone. And it doesn't even have to be carved into a pipe stone. It's already alive. When tomb is inside something, that means it's already alive. So that rock is already sacred. You can cut a piece of that rock, hold it in your hand. It's already sacred. It's already alive. See, a lot of people teach this incorrect teaching of saying, well, it's just a rock. And it's not sacred until you bless it in a sweat lodge. No, that's false. That's absolutely false. It's already sacred because of the blood of the Dakota ancestors that's in there. That's what makes it pink. That's why it's soft. The blood is literally in there. And blood carries something called tchum. That's the essence of the soul. That's why the essence of the souls of the Dakota ancestors that died in that location in the Mother Earth cleansing 
that makes that stone sacred. It doesn't even have to be carved in the shape of a pipe or anything. It already is sacred. It's not just a rock. So that's the teaching I really have to get out there more because people really believe incorrect things about this. These are Dakota ancestors in there. So, that's the Lakota, Dakota, Nakota pipe. But, the Iktomi pipe is made out of a black stone. <laughs> you see, there's always Iktomi versions of everything. And they're always incomplete. There's something missing. That's representing duality. Because in duality, there is something missing. To learn more about Lakota spirituality, I have written a book called Wichocha Otehige. This book also includes Lakota star knowledge information. All the videos that I make, which are about Lakota spirituality, Lakota star knowledge, and cultural information, are based on this book. This book costs 99 American dollars, and this price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. And to learn more about Lakota language, I have written a Lakota language book called Chante et Tanhan Owoglake, Speaking from the Heart. And all my Lakota language videos are based on this book. This book cost 119 American dollars, and this price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. I also teach online, and I give spiritual consultations as well. The price for these sessions are 35 American dollars an hour. If you are interested in any of my services and products, you can send payment via PayPal to my email address, which is hechaka7 at yahoo.com. That's H E H A K A, the number seven, at yahoo.com. And also include your shipping address and your email address when you send your payment. Oh, Lila Pilamaelo, thank you very much. <laughs>